I have something I want to tell you. Beauties, and welcome back to Plus Size by Default. Um, if you go below, you'll see that I just did a giveaway video. So go check that out after you watch this video, though. But make sure to go check that out because I want you to be part of the giveaway as well. Um, but this video is basically going to be about the world we live in. Well, I'm not going to say the world we live in, the world I live in. I'm needing y'all to understand, like, this shit is not as easy as it looks. It took me time, it took me years to master half the shit that I know. And all I ask is that, you know, show me the support. Because when I'm doing your face, I'm not half-assing it. The thing that kills me is when you'll text somebody that texts you, like, girl, I love how you do makeup, can you do my makeup, blah, blah, blah. I know it's coming when they be like, oh, because you know some places they charge so much. Now I already know from jump you're going to try to haggle my prices. Okay. I'm not like, okay, well, you know what? Hmm, I don't feel like doing this. No, I'm going to put my all into it because you're spending your hard work money. So I'm expecting you to, you know, meet me halfway. I took about an hour and a half just to do this. And I hardly have anything on my damn face. Off the strength, that is perfection. And this is my art and this is what I do. Okay. Another thing that really gets under my skin is when it's people that are closest to you that do it to you. I was watching a video on um, on YouTube and it's by a girl named My Frugal Finds. I'll even link her, right? Her video was basically about how she makes money or how she, people come to her, how do you make money? She said a couple of things that I got from her video were be selfish in your 20s for example because i needed some examples i was like what the hell does that mean i needed some examples so she basically was like if your friends are like yeah let's go to a party but rent is due <laughs> on friday and they're like oh yeah it's thursday i know you got money let's go out but you know damn well that you can't afford it it's okay to be selfish if your friends don't understand then those aren't your friends Another example, when it comes to friends and family, and when it comes to this makeup, hair, whatever it is that you do to get your hustle on, even if it's fucking shiny shoes, when it comes to family and friends, they feel like they're, what is the word, entitled <laughs> to a discount, or they're entitled to the word free. Listen, she said something that was really funny to me. She said, listen, um... My aunt used to come to me and be like, yeah, not my aunt, but she said, my aunt used to come to me and be like, so girl, I brought you all these people, can you do my makeup for free? And this is after six, seven years, right? She comes to her finally and says, you know, why you didn't, why you don't do my makeup? She basically tells her aunt, where you been going for the past six, seven years? Wherever you been going, go back. Because now you're going to choose to support me because <laughs> you want something free? Bye. You feel me? I show love to those who show love to me. Everybody that knows me knows that. If I feel like you're trying to get over on me, you got the right one. I'm trying to get into a very competitive field, right? And it's a field where I'm going to be told the most disrespectful, truthful, honest things. And I have to learn that at the end of the day is life and if my family and my friends can't respect what I got going on then I don't need to respect you period I don't need to have you around me I don't need you to, to support me because at the end of the day I'm doing this on my own and I got this I got this promise me with or without promise you with or without you with or without y'all I'm gonna do this and I got a passion for it. And that's what draws me to continue to do what I do, whether I get recognition or not. Because a lot of shit I did in my life is I need to get recognition. I need somebody to be like, okay, Maris, what you're doing is good. You know what? Fuck that. What I'm doing is great. I know what I'm doing is great. Because I tell myself it's great. It's not about what you think. It's about what I think. If I think it looks good, it looks good. And that's what I need to instill in y'all. Stop letting everybody rule your world. Let rent, like fucking rent space in your head. Listen, you want to rent space in my head? Give me some money. Once you start putting some money in my pocket, then I'll listen to whatever the fuck you got to say. 
But if you're not doing so and you're not helping me to better myself, why do you matter? Why? That's just something that I want you to ask yourself. Why do they matter? Especially if nothing that they're saying is positive. If everything that you bring up is negative and it's not like, okay, well, this is great, but, you know, maybe try this next time. Some people feel like constructive criticism is, oh, that's horrible. No, 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 no. Constructive criticism is when you criticize something, but you're giving me another way out. You're giving me another idea on how to add to it. Not being a bitch or a jerk. Excuse my language. But... I just needed to rant, get that off my chest, because I'm tired of it. I'm so sick of it. But the thing is, like, just remember that they're watching. They may not like it, but they're watching. <laughs> Trust me, they're watching. And as they see you progress, and as they see you grow, and as they see you move, and the more people, and the more relationships that you build, the places you go, the people you see, they're going to be bad. And then all that, oh, now they're going to be thinking, because, you know, now at this point, you're going to be renting space in there. You're going to give them time to think about DM. I should have been fucking with her when she started this shit. I was there. I was in. But, yeah, this is just something I want y'all to remember. Because as I go on and as I grow, I'm learning so much. And I'm loving who I am becoming. I'm loving who I was, and I'm embracing her. You know, at the end of the day, I was told so much shit about my attitude, about how I speak to people, about just me in general. And it started making me feel like I was a bad person. And then it has, it's the people that come to me like, girl, I love you. You're dope. Your personality's perfect. You are a great person. Like, it made me think, like, okay, so these people like me. These people don't like me. Fuck the people that don't like me. I'm going to chill with the people that like me. For me. I don't have to change me. If there's people out there that like me for me. So just remember that. Hi. If you want to subscribe, make sure you subscribe. Share this video. Like it. Thumbs it up. Don't be a hater and thumb down. Because, you know, that would be petty. Instead of thumbs down, just like exit. But, yeah. Thanks for visiting Plus Size by Default. Hope to see you again. I have something I want to tell you.